Idaho Freedom Foundation is known for its outside the norm efforts in lobbying for and against legislation. Founder Wayne Hoffman famously opposed the bill that banned minors from tanning beds, saying doctors sometimes prescribe it as a health measure. And in 2011, the group backed legislation that resurrected an obscure Thomas Jefferson doctrine in an attempt to nullify the Affordable Care Act. Now, the state's largest utility is sponsoring the foundation's annual banquet with a $1,000 donation, a sign the foundation's influence is getting stronger. Dan Popke broke the story in the Idaho Statesman. They want to show support, and uh, presumably with support comes influence on, on what the foundation does. But ratepayers aren't contributing to that sponsorship. They don't get to pass that on to the ratepayer. Paul Schillander, who chairs the Public Utilities Commission, said that the customers would, quote, come unglued if uh, Idaho Power tried to pass these costs on to them. Hoffman denies Idaho Power is trying to give toward any specific piece of legislation. People give to uh, organizations like ours because they believe in the cause or they support the mission. We've been open about that. We're open about the work that we do. In a statement, Idaho Power said, we do not consider participation in any particular event as alignment by Idaho Power with all views of an organization or its members. You can read Dan Popke's full story in the Idaho Statesman. Live in the studio, Tina Jensen, Today 6 on your side.